We are in the Skagit Valley, which is a very special place for agriculture. Within a short drive, you'll find potatoes, leeks, tulips, and just about any other crop you can imagine, including cabbage. I caught up with a grower who's been growing cabbage for decades. I'm here with Kirby Johnson, farmer in Skagit Valley, and uh, one of the things you grow is cabbage, right? Right, for you sauerkraut. The 2017 growing season was a bit of a wild card for cabbage growers in the coastal region. The spring was a bit cooler with more rain than in recent years. This changed the planting and growing cycle for the season. When it's planted early, it comes in about 75 or 80 days, but when it's planted this late, I don't know if it will or not. But we want to get it out of the field before the frost comes, so I think we'll make it. Yeah, so cabbage for sauerkraut. Yeah. Those little guys grow up and we hope to have 10 pounds of usable sauerkraut from every plant. Wow. This will form a head mm -hmm. and it'll be tight and it'll be uh, oh, 12, 15 pounds. Why is this cabbage good for sauerkraut? It's good for sauerkraut because it forms a big solid head and, and uh, you know, white in color, sauerkraut's got to be white. Mm -hmm. And so the, the color is right and the head size is big and this climate is good for growing cabbage. So good, in fact, in the mid-1900s, Skagit County once grew 95% of the cabbage seed produced in the United States. When we were at our highest production, we were making three million pounds and it represented two or three percent of the production in the country. So you can imagine how much... A lot much of sauerkraut. How long have you been a farmer? All your life? All my life. Almost a certain number of years, but... <laughs> you don't want to divulge. Is it a family farm? So like, you farmed, and then your dad farmed, and then... Fourth generation. Really? Yeah. My dad had four brothers. My family was three brothers and we farmed together. So, here we are, still at it. Kirby's son Stephen is the next generation working on the farm. But when it comes to retiring from the farm, Kirby's got a pretty simple perspective. It's kind of in your blood. I don't know if you ever quit or not. So yeah. I still got a little energy. Just don't ask me to go out after supper with a shovel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm with you there. <laughs>